Hi, this is Miss Lamb with a Google Apps for Education tutorial video. Right now, I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Slides. So, if you open up the Google Slides app and you've signed in with your school email, you're going to be able to access any of the slides presentations that I've already shared with you. One option is that it might be right there on the screen when you see it. If you don't see the specific um, presentation that I've shared, you press in the upper left hand corner the three lines and then you have the option to look at shared with me and over there you'll look at all you'll receive all of the different presentate slides presentations that I've shared with you so for example if I want to show you the different features I can just press right here on that one um, and it opens up and so now you see the slides presentation and let's say I gave you a presentation and as we'll often be doing I tell you to add a slide with your group the steps are really fairly simple if you look in the bottom right hand corner there's that little plus button you press on the plus button to add a slide and you add whichever template you like uh, let's say right now we add a title only okay um, so now you have this you double tap to type and you type whatever information you need. Now let's say part of the assignment was for you to add a picture um, or let's say you decided that you needed to add a text box or anything else. All things can be added from this bar on the top. If you look there's a plus sign and if you press on the plus sign you can add text, you can add an image, shape, a table, a whole bunch of different kinds of things. If you want to be able to add an image, you have the option to either add from your photos or straight from the camera, which means that if uh, it was a vocabulary assignment and you needed to be looking for an image that represents the word, then you first go on Google, you find the picture, you add it to your photos, and then you're able to open up whatever picture you need from your photos to add here. Um, if you wanted to add a text box, you do that from there, it adds a text box, you can resize it um, and type whatever text you want straight into the text box. Now let's say you wanted to play around with fonts and things like that, that comes from back up at the top of the bar. Once you have a text box, you have that little A with the lines on the sides of it. Here you can change your font. Let's say we want something, oh whoops, I'm sorry, I was supposed to highlight the text first. Um, if you change it before you start typing, it'll do it for you automatically. Let's say I want to change the font, and now it looks really small, so I want to make it much bigger, and then I'd like to turn it blue. Um, so now I've changed all of that. I could also change my spacing and put it to the middle. I can choose if I want it to the top, to the middle, or to the bottom of the text box. I can indent. I could put uh, numbers or bullets. I can change the line spacing. Um, I also can decide if, let's say, I would like the background. The thing was dark blue. I want the background of the text box to be light blue, and I want the line around it to be the darkest blue that there is. So I press all of those things. I want that line to be much thicker. And now here you have it. Um, it's really very simple. The only other feature, which goes for all of the Google apps, is if I told you to put a comment on a slide, put comment, you type your comment here, um, and then anybody else who wants will be able to see it. There's undo and redo. Um, this is basically how you do an existing slides presentation. Let's say that you needed to add a new one. I told you to create a slides presentation from scratch or you wanted to on your own. That's where this little red plus in the bottom right hand corner of the home screen comes in. You do that, you can either choose from a template where they give you lots of um, already existing options. Let's say we do uh, whichever one I just pressed. Um, no, none of them. Oh, there we go. My trip to the Great Barrier Reef. Now I can go ahead and do whatever I want in this um, 
in the slides presentation, I can edit it as I see fit by clicking on things and following the instructions that I gave you before. Hope that this will help you understand how to use Google Slides in the classroom.